What's up guys, main man Sui here and welcome to Li Shaolan's 8 minute guide. Li is an extremely technical character, very execution and timing demanding. He's also super fancy when you get him to work. I can't think of any other character that has a cooler fighting style than Li. He's just, he's so cool. And he's also very, very strong and very all round. But the question is, is he as strong as he is demanding? It's an interesting question. He's known for incredible keep out, incredible counter tools, a pretty decent 50-50 actually, strong poking, and very good punishment. Very good punishment, very all round. So let's start with the keep out. Back four. One of the absolute best keep out tools in the game. Does the decent damage on its own, but when it counter it launches, dear god, it hurts for the opponent. Only minus three on block. On whiff, recovers almost instantaneously, making it pretty much impossible to whiff punish. You can just fall back and use this. You can even cancel it into Hitman, start sidestepping. Oh, they whiffed. Boom, launch them with the two button there from Hitman. Uh, really cool. In Hitman, you also have a Power Crush, a high, minus three on block, but if it hits, big damage, looks really swag, gives decent Oki. Okay. Some great options here. He also has the Universal Down for two, which is always very welcome for keep out. If you're moving about, back four, la la la, they go in, they whip an attack. Acid Storm. 15 frame mid launcher with excellent range. So again, falling back with Lee, playing defensively, pretty damn solid. Uh, in terms of counter hits, his magic four is stupid good. He can do single kick, double kicks, or machine gun kicks. Three kicks, just to keep the, the opponent on their toes. Again, technical combos, but if you can do them, he gets very solid damage, no matter what. Even with the double kicks, he converts into combo. Uh, really good magic four. Uh, his 10 frame counter strength, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, what is it? High, mid, high. So you can duck the last hit, but you can actually hit confirm this. If you notice that the first hit counter it, add the last hit. And you, you get really big damage. On block, it is minus 13, you know, the, the second hit, but they're so afraid of the last hit that they won't do anything. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a very good string. Uh, down free, 16 frame, low counter it launcher. Super good. It is launch punishable uh, at uh, minus 15, and it has uh, no tracking whatsoever, but it's, it's still very fast. It's a very good counter it launcher. I love 4 4 free, not a natural combo. Very delayable the second hit. Safe at minus eight, and if it counter hits the second hit, blam! I, I love that move. Uh, down two, plus eight no, on normal hit on block, minus six, and since season four, a counter hit launcher. You can dash into a down four, but oh, dude, this is trick. I, I'm a Lee scrub. I only have eight minutes, but you can do it. And then one, one plus two here. Super good, long range, mid, counter it launcher, homing. This move has it all, it's so good. And it's only minus one if you go into Hitman. Only minus one. Yeah, did, did, I, did I say it's good? Uh, so great, this was only a best of, you know, but he has so much more stuff there. And 50-50, you can threaten that from pretty far away with a beautiful slide. Learn to do this very quickly. It's much more technical than you think, getting a good slide. You can mix that with while standing too free, or a half kick if you want to, but to keep it safe-ish, you can do while standing too four, safe on block, but the second hit is a high, so they can duck that and launch you, but you mix with while standing too free. So that's a 50-50 on its own, the mid option you mix uh, the slide with. Uh, so, oh, his poking is excellent. You, ha you have jab, jab is always nice. His downward one is super good. Decent range, but the best thing about this is that it can actually beat a lot of jabs. Especially jabs like Brian's with a pretty high hitbox. 
he goes under. He ducks a lot when he does this. It's stupid because the, the, the universal counter usually to beat down for one spam is to jab in between. But he can actually beat a lot of jabs. So his down for one is super good. Down back three, good generic low, that's minus 12. Hits grounded as well. Down back three, four. Yeah, that hurts on counter hit. And on normal hit, plus four, decent damage. Minus 13 on block. It's on the slower side, but it has great range. 3-3 uh, three, three is a pretty cool natural combo string. Made high though, so be careful. But I really like this string. It's very delayable. 4-4-4 uh, four, four, four is a really cool move because he, he crouches like crazy when he does this. Comes out at 16 frames, on, only minus 5 on block. Has got pretty damn good range. And on normal hits, yeah, launches if you have a technical skill. Uh, but he beats all highs with this. If someone's spamming electrics, like this is a hard counter or, or any high. It's really good. Um, and his new attack, up for 3 4, is really cool. Uh, plus 5 on block, up, plus 8 if I go into Hitman. There's some really cool tools. Uh, and then it's punishment 10 frame, 1 2 4, but 10 frame. There we go. That's not even max damage. You can get 47 if you end with Blazing Kick. But that's, what, 44! 10 frame punish! Um, and then 13 frame, 4 to 1 plus 2. 14 frame, 4 to 1. 15 frame, Hop Kick or Acid Storm. Uh, uh, while standing, 10 frame. In Infinity Kicks. You can do while standing 3-3 three, three on its own. Or you can do a... Uh, Low or mid mix up for like 45 damage, but that's very risky. Uh, 14 frames while standing to free. Oh, 13 frames swag combo. I don't know how good that is, but 15 frame you can you can hop kick. Uh, yeah, hop kick. Uh, so that's punishment. Uh, so how do you counter Lee? Let Lee come to you. Uh, if he's falling back like this, don't run into him. You're playing into his game plan. Let him come to you. That's much more in your favor, I would say. There's no real reason to duck Lee unless your opponent is like really good with slides and using slide a lot. Don't duck him, in my opinion, like uh, at all. Most Lee players don't even slide well, I would say. And when they do start sliding, if you block it, make sure you punish with max damage. Float him into a juggle. Certain characters can't do that though, but that's very rare. So get the max damage there. Down three, remember, is always minus 15. So launch that, always. Uh, two, two, three, make sure you duck that last hit. Make sure you always duck that. Don't let them get away with that. Same with Acid Storm, if they're lazy with this, you can duck the last hit. And if they don't do the last hit, he's just super minus overall. Um, Hitman stance, you don't need to duck this. It, it, the only thing he has is this low. But he screams when he does it. Rawr! And it's quite, it is reactable at 24 frames. It is dif difficult, that's pretty fast, but you can react to that sweep. So that, that's the only real threatening thing. Just stand guardly for the most part. Don't run into him and, and you should be fine. And, and duck those highs I mentioned and launch down free launch the slide. Thanks for listening to me guys. Have a great day.